I hate that I can't put that one towel lower now. What the heck? It, it doesn't work out the same. I can't knock the Electro Wizard back anymore. I ah. Mm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. Today we've got some massive code OJ. We've got some massive balance changes. The bowler is getting a rework with 20% sight range nerf, but also a 25% projectile range buff. He will also be getting 8% health buff going from 1596 health to 1729. He'll be able to tank one more hit from notable units like the Executioner, Electro Wizard, Lumberjack, Prince, Wizard, Musketeer, Bomber, Giant Skeleton, Cannon Cart, and the Princess. Because of his short sight range now, range units like Electro Wizard require him to walk forward after getting bold. His sight range is so short now that you can actually wait until he gets close enough to the Princess Tower and plant a melee unit right behind him against the river. This will limit his knockback because of the river giving melee units less distance after each bull. Activating the King Tower with Fisherman just got a lot easier because of his projectile range. The projectile range is super far now that if you misplant anything in front of the bridge, he can reach the Prince's Tower, even beyond the tower's range. But don't worry there, bait players. Bridge planted princesses don't result in a bowl to your tower. You'd think that because of the sight range nerf, the bowler would never attempt to bowl the firecracker, but he actually does. Despite him being legally blind, he will reach the firecracker. I thought that was a really interesting interaction that I thought was going to be affected, but it's not. Now for spells, all spells except for Tornado have received a 5% nerf on crown towers, going from 35% to 30%. You'll want to refresh your spell damage knowledge on crown towers now that they've changed. Huge shout out to Vady MPK for making this chart. Basically, it's saying that Earthquake is now the strongest spell in the game per Elixir. And there's a lot of numbers on this chart. If you do forget in game, remember you can actually hold down the spell to see the damage that it's gonna deal to troops and to the crown towers. My memory still thinks that Zap deals 67 damage, but that was like three years ago. Miner is also receiving the same 5% nerf on crown towers, going from 56 to 48. Miner chip archetypes just got a little nerf, especially Miner poison. Oh, B Rad, my man. Feel your Feel pain. pain! Royal Recruits will be receiving an 8% damage buff going from 101 to 110. This brings the overall DPS of each recruit from 77 up to 84. Remember, there are six of them, so taking down tanks will be a lot easier, especially now that four is gonna clump onto something like, say, a giant. One of the most important interaction differences is that they'll be able to one-shot Spear Goblins now. Not that Spear Goblins were ever meta, but now they do do that. Bats? are getting their hit speed reduced by 9%, going from 1.1 to 1.3 seconds. With its overall DPS going down from 60 to 51, taking out tanks just got a little bit slower for those poor little bats. They're no longer minion horde level worth of damage. The log is receiving a 9% nerf in range, which is one tile less, which means it can no longer hit a center planted golem barrel with a bridge planted princess. Oh, this is dark times. We're talking 2017 here when the log had this nerf to the range and it just became a dead card. One of the hugest interaction changes is that when the princess tower is planted in front of the king tower on defense, that log will not be able to reach that princess. Think of an example where the lava hound is coming the princess is gonna shoot a hundred times on there. That's a huge interaction difference. But two tiles in front of the king tower and the log will be able to reach. This overall will be a significant buff to a log bait archetype as log is one of the main counters. Here's one of the biggest nerfs in the game. The Royal Delivery is getting its knockback removed. Knockback is a, one of the best mechanics and they're removing it. The Recruit is getting an 8% damage buff to compensate for this, but honestly, I don't think it's enough. Now it's not going to stop units like the Ram Rider or the Battle Ram from charging anymore, which might bring Zap, Snowball, Log, and Fireball back into the main spells again. The battle ram can be stopped right before it connects to the tower. The royal delivery still deals enough damage, but because it doesn't knock it back anymore, the barbarians will be closer to the tower and they will connect to the tower after destroying the recruit. Inferno dragon will no longer be interrupted by the royal delivery and it will not retarget either. It's going to deal full damage. Fireballies can't be stopped 100% without damage anymore and zero damage on the counterattack. 
Knockback was such a massive mechanic that they removed. Stopping a Hog Rider with World Delivery and Skeleton is no longer a viable option to get zero damage. Overall, these balance changes will definitely change how the game is played. World Delivery got a massive blow, having its knockback removed. In my opinion, this will just make the other spells more dominant and give players less options. The bowler rework, it's kind of nice. It has its ups and downs in terms of interaction differences, but I can see that it did need a rework. The nerf for the log range is quite a buff for log bait. Plus, that spot in front of the king tower is going to be super annoying, as now you have to use fireball or arrows to counter that freaking princess there. Let me know what you think of the balance changes. There's going to be a lot of different things, but let's try and test it out in real time now. I've got just the perfect decks for this. I found Jimmy Ice on Reddit saying that there's nothing better than waking you up to half of your deck being nerfed. Dark F Oscar says, I have a strong feeling I won't be able to use my deck after these balance changes. Oh my goodness. All right, let's, let's see how these two decks fare. Oh my goodness. I don't like this. He's got a minor. I've got a minor. What a worthy adversary, Mr. Use Code OJ. Okay, the log. Oh, it connected to the tower. It doesn't connect. It doesn't connect right here, but it connects right there. All right, let's do a little knight in the back to counter that Valkyrie there. I need to time it so that I have minor bats and skeleton barrel. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That ice spirit just wrecked all of my bats. We're going in. He's got an Electro Wizard, are you serial? Freaking heck. I'm gonna put the bomb tower just right here. I don't want I don't want no trouble from the miner. You hear? Did I need to put that knight down there? Maybe I did. I could overcommit with the skelt. Oh my freaking heck. He's no my goodness. That is a dangerous Inferno Tower. I hate that I can't put that one towel lower now. What the heck? It, it doesn't work out the same. I can't knock the Electro Wizard back anymore. I ah, they should. Oh my goodness, this is the 2017 nerf all over again. All right, Spear Goblins, do your thing. Stop freaking That's okay, he countered he countered uh skeleton barrel with an inferno tower. It's five for three. Where's the electro wizard? Show me your electro wizard. There it is. Oh my goodness, he missed the skeleton plant. I'm gonna log Rooney's that electro wizard back into that poison. We don't need that negativity in here, you hear? Okay, we'll do bats, and we'll do Inferno Tower, counter the- Oh my! Why? I don't know if I'm just bad with this deck or if it got nerfed. This deck totally, 100% got nerfed. Even though he's running the same minor poison. <laughs> We're going in anyways. He's got Electro Wizard. Frickin' Electro Wizard. Nope. I can't afford that right now. Take it, take it. I don't wanna play this dirt this this deck. It's it's so it's nerfed to the ground. He was running the classic B Rad deck. I mean I was running the classic B Rad deck. I don't know how I feel about that. I just beat myself. Another minor poison. All of the decks that got affected were minor poison. I don't think it's even an archetype anymore. Straight into the mine. Oh my goodness. That law. Oh shoot. Is he running bait? He's running bait. I have to get through that inferno tower now. This is classic bait. Oh, I got one stab. Oh, 100%. This is classic bait. I'm gonna use my roll delivery. 
Oh, freaking heck, princess. Get out of here, princess. I don't need your negativity. What I do need, though, is... Oh, shoot, I missed. Ooh! I didn't miss. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Come on, Electro Wizard, do your thing. One hit. Two hits. Two hits. I don't know if I want that to connect. Oh my freaking princess. Are you serial? Oh, I should have put the Electro Wizard right there to retarget. That's not good. I can't overcommit with this miner right now. I'm going to cycle my miner just because I want my roll delivery and rotation because I got to react to that barrel real quickie. I don't... Mm, yeah, I'll let it cross. Oh my goodness. Bring me your goblin barrel. Bring it. Bring it on. I hate that you have to hover. I'm gonna... Oh my heck, he's rocketing me out. That princess bridge plant is so annoying. And I put my hand up for one second, so those roll delivery was a little too slow. That's fine. We'll do an Electro Wizard in the back, and he's gonna rocket me out. That's... This is so annoying. The rocket! It still does 300 damage! I don't like it! I need, I need to plant down that knight, because I know he's got a freaking princess. I'm not panicking, you're panicking! No! I misplanted my Electro Wizard! Two rockets away. He's two rockets away. He's one rocket away. Is that even enough damage? Three hundred seventy crown tower damage. All right, that bait deck was so annoying. Even though I had three spells: poison for the princess, roll delivery, and the log. He ended up rocketing me out, even with the nerf. Oh my goodness, bait is back. I hate, I hate bait. I don't like playing against bait. Does that mean that triple spells are back? But spells just got nerfed. My head hurts. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As uh, regardless of whether or not everyone agrees with these balances, what I do agree with is that how it shakes up the meta, it keeps everything clean and fresh, just like most other popular games out there. You change something dramatically, and it completely changes the meta. It just shifts it and keeps it fresh every month. So in that regard, I do respect these balance changes. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay tuned for more quality Code OJ. Code OJ.